Hey Brick fans, Mighty Stacker here to review a Mega Bloks World of Warcraft set. This is my very, very first set, and I have no idea what World of Warcraft is. From what I can tell, it's a massively multiplayer online role playing game. It's pretty cool. So I got myself a World of Warcraft consultant. What? Oh, hello. Please introduce yourself. I am Manvat227, if anybody doesn't know. And, um, so this set is number 9, oh, 9 10, 14, and this is rated 8 plus. And this is the Goblin Zeppelin Ambush, with 310 pieces plus, and it, a mystery bag with a good treasure. So... Let's open this up and build it. Okay, so this is the back of the box. And I forgot to show you it, so here is the Zeppelin. It also comes with a little crossbow, a giant crossbow cart. Yes, Manbat227. Now, if any of you do not know what World of Warcraft is, or if you want, already know how to play it and know what this is, let the Mighty Stacker know, because he for even forgot to say that at the start of the review, because I had to say it. Nice going. Uh, so, so, what you have here is you have your list of armor, and what you have is Dark Howl, which is the wolf from the hero side, which I can never remember the name, but I don't really know. So if you do know, then put it down in the description. But anyway, so here is Dark Hal. He is a Worgen rogue, and he has the green armor of something that I can't remember. So he is on the right of the three figures, and that is is Worgen rogue class, I forgot to say. So for the second figure is the Krazel, which is the which is the goblin of the set. Now, this is one of the first goblins of, wa of Wave 1. So this is a good set to get him in. Now, he has a another rogue class armor. He, but he is a goblin rogue, not a worgen. So he is basically almost the same rank as the wolf class. I mean, the wolf clan or whatever. So then for the final and last minifigure armor is the Light Hoof, who is the another villain. He has more bulky armor than I thought it would have been. And by the way, if nobody knows what kind of, like, if nobody knows the armor names, I do not know. So if anybody could t tell me or the Mighty Stacker, please put it in the description below, below again. So anyway... And, anyway, so, here we, he is the, um, don't really know what kind of animal he is, but I know he is a bull, sorry if I screwed that up, but he is taller than all the figures, unless if, so, it, he's the biggest figure, and what he has is the, uh, robes this time, since he is a, um, the leader, I guess, of these guys, but this is one of the, Bigger sets that has him. There will be more sets with these guys in them, but not all the same. So that's pretty much it for that figure. And he has a tav. Can't remember this tavern. Uh, Padlin ar armor. So he is basically yes a leader. I don't know, but if somebody could let me know. Anyway, so the features of this set are a shooting crossbow cannon. A regular cannon that's at the front of the Zeppelin. And if nobody knows what Zeppelin means, just say really big balloon. Or blimp. Whatever. Like the Goodyear blimp. So what Any. we have here is, looks like a, re a re remem remembrance of a shark. And basically, I don't know what kind of shark this would be from. But anyway. So here we have... Is so let's have a look at the set itself. Nice going. Anyway. Now, let's have a look at the minifigures one by one.
Okay, so here is the first figure. So, take it away, man bat. Okay, so here is Light Hoof, like I said, the bull man that I call him, or centaur, or minotaur, whatever. Anyway, so this is what he looks like up close. Now, he does have a lot of armor and everything, but we are going to show you something about that later that other people did in other reviews. So, this is what he has, like, this is his tail, as you can see. He has a lot of detail, and I didn't think they'd put the tail into it. But, yeah. So, since he is a leader, or whatever, he has these robes that give him off, give him away very quickly. So, since it's, like, epic, I guess, then it's okay. Let's move on to the next figure. So here is the second figure. Appears to be a werewolf. Uh, so tell us more, man bat. Well, actually, it's not a werewolf, but I guess you could say that. This is the uh, um, forgot his name, but whatever. Um, he is. Um, well, he's. Uh, I don't even know what he is like still of his name, but he is very good. This is one of my favorites out of the others, and he actually has less detail for his legs and armor but he does have cool feet like not features but like armor and everything and his head is the same sculpt as the wolf from that eagle uh the um the royal eagle or whatever but it's basically the same sculpt from that but no we haven't done a review on that maybe yeah and let's move on to the next figure all right, so here is the third and final minifigure of the set. Actually, figure of the set, because it's a Mega Bloks. It appears to be a goblin. So, tell us more, man bat. This is one of the goblin tribe, well, basically tribe characters. He is a smaller figure than all the rest. As you can see by his legs, they are the same size as the gnome legs and a different set that we might do another review of. But anyway, so his armor is more lighter detailed than the um, the wolf. So he has, like, say that he's like a death knight or something. But that's what he sort of looks like right now. So as you can see, he is holding a sword that I do not know the name of. If you could please tell me that. And he has... Only the really only thing that aren't detailed are his boots and legs. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's move on to the set itself. Okay, so here is the first thing you get to build. It's a pretty cool looking wagon with a giant crossbow on it. What else what can it do? Man bat? Well the real thing about it, the only thing that it can do is the firing action that it has. So what you do is you pull back on it, and then you fire. Now, it is good, but it is hard to get the elastic on it, which is actually a bit of a pain. And the only way you can use it is with it, because it doesn't have the lock-in feature of the cannon in the background. It also appears to hinge up and down, so you can target it better. And at the front of the, of the cart, of the, um, the vehicle, of the, uh, weapon is the two lion shields that represent the good guys of this uh, set. So basically when you see it on the box you also see that from which what you see right now. That's pretty cool. So let's move on to the set itself. So here is the bottom half of the set. I'll show you the top half a little bit later. It appears to be some kind of boat as the bottom half. You want to tell us more man bat? Anyway, um, yes, uh, this is not actually a boat, Mighty Stacker. This is a hot air balloon-like flying vehicle that they use in the game. So basically, this is one of the many vehicles that fly. And that was a bit of a stupid ad. But anyway, so this is basically what you would see regularly flying around if you were a horde. Now the Horde are the bad guys, so if you like those guys, then this is, would be a good set for you. Now, the cannon in the front actually fires pretty good, so don't try to aim at the face if you could. 
and the two yellow uh, circle-like eyes are actually the lights that are used for at-night missions. So, well, I don't really know at-night missions, but whatever. Anyway, so as you can see on the side, there is a, ha a fin, but it's really one of... I don't really know what it is, but it's obviously either a fin or it's a way to get off, like a bridge uh, hinge. So anyway, then on each side of the Zeppelin, there is sandbags. And as you can see, they are smaller than uh, regular bags from Middle Blocks that you could see. And so basically what they do is just, well, hold it down. And really, I don't really know what the detail is about the back with these bl purple orbs, but it doesn't matter. So anyway, there is a little light, tent-like, um, let's say a house or whatever, that's on a boat. I mean, a ship. And there, and what it has is, it has the old-style ladder things that are from the Pirates Mega Block sets from like 2006 or 5. I don't really know the date. But anyway, they're also using a new fabric part for the top of the roof and it is very flexible for when you want to move it your way but I recommend it like that. So then Raymond just broke. Let's show how the cannon works. You should edit out that one part that I said. Anyway, so here we have is the cannon just fired so I forgot to say it. But it so there is as you can see, giant yellow ropes that are heading up to the upper part, which we'll be getting to in the next seat. So what we have is is the climbing, well, basically like in a pirate ship, you would see the ropes heading up to the mast. But it is actually, instead of for the mast, it's for the giant balloon. So what? So you can actually get a figure and use his hand and put it on, like on the box. So. Mighty Stacker is going to show you a demonstration for you. Just like that, and it's really cool. So, enough of the bottom half. Let's get on to the next part of the set. Bottom half aside, let's move on to the top. Now, you want to tell us about this, Man Bat? Certainly. Now, this is what I said, the balloon part of the... Well, of course, shit. So, it's basically holding it up with the ropes that I said. Now, if you're wanting this set, and if you already have it, then you would probably already know about these pegs in the, um, well, the part of the mast, or whatever part. Ah, it's good. Anyway, I can't, I can't say it very good. Anyway, so anyway, there's about let's say 40 pieces on that part that are actually attached but it is hard to get these pegs in so an adult or maybe your older sibling can help you now for the back of the vehicle there are two fins and the propeller the fins do not move up and down and this propeller can move though now in the instruction manual there was a part that I didn't really get because on the box it showed two tube things right under these. Now, I don't know if that's a mist under printing or whatever it was, but it wasn't shown on the instructions, so if somebody could please tell us how that part can keep it on there, that would be great. So anyway, now on the top of the Zeppelin, you can see more detail from, well, everywhere. There are big stripes coming from the top and heading to the white stripes to the bottom, but they do not reach to those. There are purple, dark purple, yellow, white, and red for the top. Now, I don't know if I missed any other colors, but that is all right. Now, we do have the fins. There are three silver ones and two main fins at the top. The fins basically just help glide it so it could fly. Now, the eyes are very, very, uh, like, moon-like, so they aren't that hard to see. And the nose, for the final part at the front, has a very 
good pattern, which I like in this set. Looks like a bumblebee, doesn't it? I guess, but it's purple. Anyway, so now that is basically the nose, though. So I didn't really think it would be that bulky for the front. And I don't really know what this is used for. I think this was used for a smoke effect from the game. But under the nose, you will see a... can't remember what that is. I think it's in... As, I think that's the mouth. The mouth. But it's not the mouth. It's actually something that's used for the smoke or for the um, helium that they use. I don't really know because this is like a bit of a recap for me since I haven't played this game in a while or even gotten a set. Okay, on to the rating of the set. So I think it's a really awesome set. So I'm going to say go out and get it. All the figures you get with it are pretty cool. They have this neat little feature where you can actually take a... Take Careful off the their armor. armor. Be careful with it. They're if I can. Really easy. Here, I'll do it. Oh, it's really connected to the actual arm joint. No, here, right. I'll do it. That's pretty cool. You want me to do it? I know how. Yeah, why don't you do it? All right. Show the camera. Now, how you do this is you go like this. It's super simple. And there's his arm. You have to do a close up of that. And so. here's the shoulder pad armor here. And the de armed arm. And then oh no, he's unarmed. Alright, and then chest piece. And then here is the chest piece. That's pretty cool. And this is what the figure looks like when he has abs, which aren't really good. So let's put the arm piece back on. There we go. Now armed up again. Now, with the instructions, you get a poster of all the minifigures that come with this wave. And down here at the bottom, I thought this was interesting. Each set includes secret loot. Now, Manbat will now present said secret loot with this particular set. Now, if you pause the video to see all the secret loot, then there are masks, yes. Like how the Brick Show showed the... Uh, the Arthras or whoever's uh, mask. But anyway, so this is the secret a weapon. Man bat not included. I know that. So this is the um, basically the axe that you get in the set already. Now the other set review that I've seen is when they got a giant staff. Now I don't know what that was about, but this was that was a good uh, thing. So this was basically the staff. That's it. Uh, the axe. And that's the review. I am the Mighty Stacker. And this is Manbat227. Signing off. Boop. Goodbye.